Hey team, welcome to my new Catwoman video. Sorry. I do not sound like that off camera. Here is my Catwoman cowl. As you can see, it's a beautiful dark purple. And Paul, who's also called the Batsmith in the UK, made it and shipped it over and it's looking awesome. Are you right? I love smelling urethane. <laughs> yeah, so he's hand sculpted it and this is part of the mold. So usually when he'd make this for a client, he'd get rid of this area. But he's left this for us because he knows we're going to be customizing it. But we still need to get rid of this whole area. So we're just going to mm. cut that away now. And then with the excess material, I was thinking we could use that in other aspects of the costume to tie it in. Perhaps patching it onto my pants or something like that. So you're just going ahead with the Stanley knife? Yeah, because Stanley knives are the best. They have the best name. <coughs> Laughing time. Could you there. imagine me in a, a surgeon's office? I'm just snickering. Oh, uh, yeah. Like you, you are. make the first incision, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. That looks awesome. Hi. Hi. And the cow looks also awesome. Hi. Get it? Really cool. This is going to be my gun holster. I bought it off Etsy for about $75, $80, including shipping to Australia. It is genuine leather, it's super nice, and we're gonna go ahead and weather it. It also has tassel details, but I could just hang random stuff off it. I might not even have a gun, I might just have random grenades hanging off me. Like really crude grenades. Yeah, because Catwoman's sneaky. Mm. And jingles. And they'll be like, oh my god, who's that? Oh, it must be Catwoman, but they won't know where she is. She's up there. Do we run? Do we run? No, 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 no. She's cool. That's the plan, Stan. Lee. Lee. <laughs> okay, so I've got these sandpaper circles and I've just gone ahead and just wiped it down. As you can see, it's taken a lot of the sheen off it. I'm just going to do that everywhere. I have the master weather expert critiquing my work. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it looks great. That looks beautiful. What is this? So, I'm only going to do an experiment on the back. Yep. It's inconspicuous. So what we've done is I've mixed some yellow orange, some burnt sienna, and some copper paint, which has actual copper flakes in it. That's cool. Um, so I've mixed it together because I want, I want to give the illusion that, you know, this is rusted because if you're at sea, yeah, stuff's going to corrode and rust. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit. It's very... And you leave it on for a little bit and we also go around on the leather because rust rings leak out onto leather as well or whatever they're riveted to. You're a genius. On the side. Yeah, it looks like my nail polish. <laughs> I mean, you could use nail polish, couldn't you? Oh, definitely. If you wanted to. Yeah, it looks cool. So much better. And a comparison. Even though the lighting's weird and my camera doesn't like to focus. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Let's do it everywhere. Okay, so just exactly what I just did and... All right, I'll do it now. Thank you for your your teaching and instruction. Hi. 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 Sensei. That's Sensei. That's Chris. Nice. Howdy do, people. So I just finished rusting everywhere and overall, it looks fantastic. So I'm going to wait for that to dry for a bit. I'm going to go ahead and do some extra scuffing in places, and then hopefully it dries and I can show you what it looks like on. All right, goodbye. Look at this soft box. This is the most advanced lighting I've ever used. It's so cool. It's a bit hot, hey. It's because you're here. <sighs> okay team, so a few updates. My whip came in the mail yesterday. It's a cat of nine tails in purple and black leather, and it looks amazing. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, do a rust effect on the metal parts of the whip and also I was wanting to spray paint the end of the tails with red spray paint to make it look a bit bloody so that's exciting sorry about my messy space but here is my wig and it's on the styrofoam mannequin head that I got the other day, but I kept finding it would topple over when I was working on it. So I've pinned it in place and then put it in a Tupperware container with rice and rocks so it doesn't go backwards as much. 
But yeah, that's the only update. I'm going to leave this vlog here, guys. It's going to be a really high-paced series because I'm just doing a tiny bit every day getting it ready for Sunday of Sydney Comic Con. And I'll see you in the next video. You look really pretty. I think we should swap cosplays. <laughs> <laughs> Your senpai. I'm not senpai. Chris is senpai. I saw you. <laughs> What's that face for? Creep face. Creep face.